Today, my friends, my diary entry will read Python goes trick or treating on the 2nd of November because that's when this video is going out. God freaking dang it. Hello, everybody. My name is Python and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 4 server. We are back today and thank you so much for the support you showed in the previous episode and, of course, for my return to the Hermitcraft vanilla server. But yeah, here we go, my friends. Slightly later than I would have liked it to be. Obviously, uh, Halloween is already gone and I do hope you guys did have a very happy Halloween. Hope you got loads of candy. But uh, yeah, Papa Python is going to tell you don't eat all of them candies at once, friends. Don't. You want to keep your teeth. Keep those teeth. Don't eat them all at once. But anyways, guys, we are here at Iskow's Trick or Treat Hermit Graves area. And we are going to go ahead and give this thing a go. I've been wanting to give this go for a little while because, uh, well, it looks kind of cool. And I've seen a couple of the other hermits get uh, get some interesting results. I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously. But uh, anyway, let's go over here to Hermit Graves. Dear Hermit, do you dare to take part in the Hermit Graves this trick and treat game promises great reward or great punishment depending on your luck. To participate, uh, obviously the coordinates, uh, that's where I am currently, enter the graveyard, walk up to any grave that does not have a name on its sign, break the sign and write your name, stand in the grave on the second soul sand block, not the one that has the button over it, and press the button. Experience? Well, you'll have to find out. Good luck and happy Halloween, Zombie Scout. Ooh, okay, so let's go ahead. All right, so we've had uh, TFC, False has been here, Ren Dog's been here, Zuma has been here, uh, Good Times with Scar, uh, Vintage Beef, Zombie Beef. <laughs> I like that. Nice one. Okay, we've also had Wells Knight, and yeah, I am going to go and take this one because uh, why not? So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and break this. I'm going to put uh, Python because I'm so creative. Was year 2k16 bruv no i won't put that <laughs> no i'm really yeah okay let's not do that anyway there we go so on the second soul sand block so apparently which one was it hang on let me just have a look again uh do 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 do, -do. break the sign write your name second soul sand block not the one that has the button over it not the one that has the button over it Ah, okay, so this one here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and do it. If we get something cool, epic. If not, then uh, we may greatly regret this. Alright, here we go. Ah! Okay. Oh, okay, dog. Okay, dog. Okay, dog. Hi, 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 hi. Ha, ha. We were tricked. Dang it. We were tricked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I'm trapped. No. Oh, no. I was a tricky. Uh, can I like get out of here and such? Um, hi! I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully get out of here and such. Um, can I like break this so I can get out and such? Alright, here we go. I'll, I'll obviously, you know, repair the thing, but uh, yeah, we got tricked! Dang it, man! <laughs> oh dear. I like the concept, this gal. Good job, bud. Seriously, that was really, really cool. Alright, so that's gonna go right there, I believe, and then we're gonna have the dirt right there. Alright, nice one. Okay, so, I mean, we got a wooden trap door out of that, which I guess is kind of cool. So, thanks for the treat, Iskal. I appreciate it, bud. Now, in all seriousness, this is a pretty damn cool concept. So, uh, good job, Iskal, man. Really, really good stuff. But anyways, today, my friends, we are going to be going ahead and working on our sea town a bit. We're going to be actually making a market area. Wait, hold on. I need to get my elytra on real quick. Uh, there we go. Oh, hello, son. What are you doing here, buddy? Get out of here. Are you the little uh, kid who was supposed to be in that little dungeon thing that I got tossed down into? Hmm? Hello, man. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I want to make myself a little bit of a market area because I... Really? <sighs> I'm so bad with Elytra, it's unreal. Yeah, I want to make a market area in my sea town and basically what's going to happen is it's going to consist of a big area in one of the largest squares and it's going to consist of a whole bunch of little sort of market stall areas and they're going to have like villages inside them. I would preferably like to get good villages, you know, ones that sell good stuff, you know, maybe selling cooked steak or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, it'll be really, really cool if we could go ahead and get some decent villagers. Obviously, I'll have to ask around, see if I can't buy myself a couple of villagers. Obviously, uh, you know, that'd be kind of cool to get instead of having to cure some. Alright, here we go. Hey, and now we're flying properly. Awesome. Nice one. So, since the last episode, I have been going ahead and getting myself resituated because for those of you guys who don't know, when the Hermitcraft trials were going down, 
I wound up dying and actually losing some of my epic gear. So I've gone ahead and I've replaced the epic gear. If we just have a look real quick, uh, obviously I'll show you when we land and such. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, keep flying right now. Do 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 do. All right, so we're going over this way. Hey, there's my sea town of epicness. So here we go. So yeah, as I mentioned, I've gone ahead and I've replaced a bunch of my gear. And as you could see, I have put uh, mending and on breaking on my wings. And named it, which is pretty dang sweet. And also, I've got myself the best armor you could possibly have. Every single enchantment slot you can use on each bit of armor is taken up. I've got thorns three on everything. And the reasoning behind why I've got that, as opposed to not having it, is because uh, I've got mending. So, you know, there's no reason to not have it. But the only thing to consider is the fact that every time I hit myself with an arrow... It's going to do like two durability damage to these things. I mean, you can see right here, we've taken a lot of durability off already. So, I don't know, man. Mm. In terms of flying, I feel like I should have like a flying set of armor or something. I don't know, but in the meantime, I've got my like superiorly epic armor. If I lose this stuff, then uh, my, my day, whenever that may happen, will just be completely ruined. But anyway, yeah, we need to try and find ourselves an area to put down our market stand area. And I'm feeling like this place right here might be the place to do so. In fact, let's just have a bit of a roam around just to start off with here. And I just want to see which areas would maybe suffice in terms of being a market area. Because we need to consider that we need to put a bunch of stalls in. Uh, I don't know, man. This, I don't know. This seems a bit small for my taste. Uh, again, this seems a bit small as well. But I don't know. I feel like this might be a cool place to pull it. Huh. It's like an L shape as well. So at least this is like a semi-interesting shape. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling like this area is going to be where I put my market stand area. So I think what I'm going to go and do first of all to start off is we are going to put a bunch of slabs down. So we can actually get in there. So we can actually inspect just how much space we have. So let me go and grab some slabs out real quick. And let's get some blocks placed down. Alrighty guys, so check it out, we're heading up this rainbow road because I do believe there is a multicolor wool shop thingy of awesomeness and I actually want to go and buy myself a bunch of wool, a bunch of colored wool so we can make our little market stands look a little bit better. So we are looking mostly for white wool and some uh, sort of bright colors, so something like this. Ooh, nice one. Alright, so what is it? One diamond per stack. Is there an ender chest? Hey, there we go. Sweet! Alright, so let's go and buy, I'm going to buy all of it actually. I'm going to wipe them out of, uh, of white wool. I might need to get myself a diamond block out here actually. There we go. And I'm thinking other colors. I want bright colors. This is, it's vivid, but it's not very bright. So I'm going to go for something like this. So I'm going to put one diamond in there. Uh, I'm going to go one diamond in here. Uh, let's have a yellow stack as well. There we go. So one of them right there. Orange, because why not? There we go. Ah, there we go. I might do my stacking correct eventually. Right, there we go. And Ah, oh, what? The red one's already gone. Dang it, man. Red is like the quintessential color of, of marketing stuff. All right, well, uh, I'm going to buy myself a stack of this in which case. And maybe a bit of pink or purple. I'm thinking a bit of the old purple. I don't see a reason why not. There we go. All right, so sweet, man. Got ourselves a bunch of wool, which is awesome. All right, I'm going to put my elytra on real quick. And actually, I guess we can check on the, uh, the redstone shop while we're here. Don't see a reason why not, right? So here we go. Not exactly far to go. Let's just have a bit of a peepsy doodle. So, all right. What, wait, what? Weird door. All right, so uh, let's have a look at this. Hey, still hugely popular. So that's five diamonds right there. We want to keep this stack separate from this one, just so we can actually see anything from it. Nope. No redstone torches sold. Oh, one of the little stacks of redstone is gone. Uh, four of the stacks of redstone blocks have gone. That's quite surprising, actually, considering Isco was uh, selling them for cheaper. So. <laughs> but anyways, that's kind of cool. Another two diamonds in here, which is kind of cool. And whoa, okay, that's a six. Six diamond sale for the comparators. Hey, check it out, guys. Grand total of 18 diamonds since the last episode has been made on the Redstone shop. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys, let's head back to base and let's get this market stand build thingy marketplace area thing done. Marketplace. Yeah, that. Let's do it. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, so check it out, we've got ourselves a pretty large area, and it's actually larger than I first thought. Obviously, I think the little sticky out parts that were here, which were of course were the logs, I think they were making the place look smaller than it actually is. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the size of this place, which is very, very cool. So, the time, my friends, has come. We need to try and figure out a little bit of a design for our little wee market stalls here. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with... I'm going to start with a little cobblestone fence there, and I'm going to put another cobblestone fence here, and then we're going to bring in the white wool. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this here. Oh, I don't know, actually, because it's going to, it needs to be, like, striped, right? I mean, you, you typically find stripes. That, that's just how it is, isn't it? You find stripes. So let's put that there, and who knows? All right, let's see if this will work. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So let's have ourselves some more fences. So I don't know, maybe one here, one here, one here. Okay, nice one. So let's have ourselves a bit of this. Uh, hmm, although maybe not. I'm actually thinking of making it a block higher, perhaps. Okay, nice one. And then we can have like a back wall, like here or something. A nice one. Okay, uh, I'm thinking of putting some fences right here. Nice. Okay, and then we can have a little bit of this. A little bit of... Can I, like, get up there? That'd be fantastic if we could. Howdy up! There we go. Nice one. Put that there. Put that there. And then we can have that going up like that. That right there. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. Looking decent so far, which I'm pretty happy with. And, yeah. All right. Let's have a look at it real quick. Uh... It's, uh, I'm not entirely sure about these right here. I think we're going to go and replace them with a little bit of that. There we go. Looking good. Hey, that's much better. Okay, so basically the how it's going to work is we're going to have one villager in each of these here pens right here. And the villagers of which will hopefully be decent ones, as I was mentioned before. And yeah, we'll basically have a bit of a pathway. I think I'm going to go with this style of pathway, actually. So, yeah. All we need to do in the meantime is we need to figure out how many of these little market stand things we can actually place down. So, I want to go ahead and, uh, and make a few more of these. And we'll see exactly how many we can get placed down. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of a progress update. We're going to outline where some of the market stands are going to go. And we'll go from there, all right? I'm, f I'm feeling that. Yeah, that feels good to me. All right. So, yeah. Let's get on with it. Let's mark these out. And let's see how many we can get in here. All right, guys. So, here we go with a quick progress update. And as you can see... We have got ourselves a whole bunch of potential market stands. So let's just have a bit of a count, shall we? One, two, three, four. This is a, this is like a double one. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to have ourselves a total of nine market stands. That is pretty freaking sweet, my friends. I'm very, very happy with that amount. So we're going to be able to have ourselves nine decent villagers going ahead and doing some trading. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going ahead and placing some more of these little uh, little glowstone beacon things that I've been doing. And in the meantime, I need to go ahead and start putting these fences back. Okay, that's another pathway in. Uh, okay, some fences there. A little bit right here. A little bit just in this little section here. And another little bit there. And yeah, that should be just about it. Nice one. Okay, Okay, so now we need to replicate this design pretty much eight times over now and we're gonna go ahead of course and use different colors as well to make it look a bit a, a bit more you know friendly I guess and in the spare spaces I mean obviously we're gonna have the pathways be two blocks wide but in the spaces you know in between we're gonna have like little grass blocks here and there with a little bit of foliage on there because I feel like that'll go a long way to make it look a bit nicer so yeah I am going to go ahead and see about making a bunch of progress and I'll meet you guys back in just a moment. Alright guys, got a progress update for you guys and that is to say that the pathways are now completely in place and all good to go. And we've even got little pathways leading up to these sort of uh, further back little mall areas, so that's kind of nice. And in the meantime, I've gone ahead and I've replaced the rest of the disgusting looking baked bean wood with, uh, with grass, which actually, to be fair, is also quite disgusting looking considering the biome colour. So yeah, but anyways, I digress. We are now ready to start making some more market stands oh freaking yeah i feel like i should do like an epic mlg style montage for this but uh i feel like that'd be a bit silly <laughs> 
Oh, low man. All right, well, whatever the case may be, we are going to go ahead and see about making ourselves a heck ton of market stands. All right, let's get rid of the... Actually, no. Hold on. Yep, there we go. Let's get rid of that bit and do that. You see, these are so, so simple to make. You just do that, and boom, you got yourself another market stand. You can literally make these in, like, less than 30 seconds flat. It is really quite crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and give this, uh, this here double one a go. See if we can't come up with a bit of a design together. So, obviously, we've got the standard look mall but we need to try and uh, make them connect so yeah all right so in terms of a color i'm thinking we go for a uh, let's go for a green one because why not all right so we're gonna have ourselves a bit of this and uh, wait well hang on i've made a mistake there i have i have broken the pattern because i'm a dumb dumb all right green 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 and a little bit of the old white action over there all right looking good and actually i'm just thinking we don't need this we can just put fences there Okay, nice one. Looking good. Fences there, fences there, and fences here as well. Uh, ah, crap. <laughs> I've just uh, fenced myself in like a numb nuts. Alright, so let's have a bit of that right there. Nice one. And a little bit of that. And then the time has come to start making the roofs nice and good. Alright, so a bit of that. Let's get rid of this bit right here and get rid of that. Or place that in more to the point okay put that there put that there and finally let's do a little bit of that there we go okay hey not looking so bad actually let's just have a look at it from the from the outset uh looks a bit strange it has to be said but it's it's looking okay i can i can deal with that nice one all right like i said i want all of the wool back all wool is good wool all right next color we're going to go with a yellow one so again a little bit of the old cobblestone fences action back here with a bit of this and then this and then boom 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 oh okay well actually that kind of ah i'm messing up left right and center i am not doing a good job am i ladies and gentlemen jeez this is terrible oh my lord all right boom and there we go, another mall done. Sweet! Okay, well, you get the general gist of how this is going, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these malls here set up, and we'll see how it all looks once it's all done and set up. Alrighty, guys, and there's a little finale piece for a little market stand area. Well, aside from getting the villages in, obviously, what we're going to do is we are going to start placing in some little lamp things because you know lamps look kind of cool all right so maybe we can have one actually no that's gonna touch isn't it so okay in which case we can do a bit of this perhaps although that's a bit close to the other one so maybe not so actually i might go ahead and put one here there we go i mean it is, uh, i don't know man that's that's kind of annoying that it's touching right there all right let's have a look and see how this works uh yeah, okay, why not? That seems to work quite nicely. And then we'll have another one maybe here, perhaps. And then maybe we can have one over here. And then we could probably fit one more in somewhere. Uh, not entirely sure where at this point, but we can certainly get one in. Come on, man. Maybe there's just, maybe there's just, like, slot for one more. Eh, uh, maybe here. Hello. Hello, man. Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to use all the glowstone, but apparently not. Uh, oh well. Well, uh, it'll do the job nicely. We now have ourselves a little market stand area, my friends, and I, I've got to say, I'm freaking hyped about it, man. I think we did a good job here. Huh. Nice one. Do you know what? Actually, on second thoughts, I'm kind of feeling like uh, just having them be, you know, one block out is actually better than having it two blocks out. So, yeah. Mistakes were made. Minds were changed. All that kind of jazz, but there we go, my friends. All looking good. Yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm really, really happy about that, actually. Nice one. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We've got ourselves a market stand area. And I've got to say, really, really happy about it. Sweet. Alright guys, so I kind of figured for the last portion of this episode, what we would do is something we have not done for a fair while now, and that is a half hour mining challenge. That's right, I'm only going for a half hour one, not an hour one, because I don't really have that amount of time, unfortunately. So, what I am doing is I am flying to a completely random part of the world. You can also see I've created some iron armor so I can spare my diamond armor just a bit more. So, yeah... Alrighty, we need to pick a random place to land and start digging down, I guess. I mean, obviously, if we find, like, a ravine or something, that would be super epic. Uh, but I think this is going to be the place to do it, man. Alright, nice one. So, all we need to do is head down into the caves and see what kind of epic stuff we can find. So, yeah, guys, let's get on with this half-hour mining challenge. I'm going to do it in the form of a montage, and, yeah, we'll see what we get at the end of it. Friends, 
friends, that seems like a worthy point to end this mining challenge upon. Let's go ahead and get these final load of diamonds right here. Nice one, which brings us up to 28 diamond ore blocks. Nice one. All right, so the problem we have now is I have absolutely no idea where I am. But the good news is I actually bumped into someone else's cave system. So I'm kind of hoping that as a result of finding this, we'll be able to find some sort of way out. Uh, okay. Ooh, abandoned mine shaft. Ooh, very fancy schmancy. All right, well, yeah, bugger. I have no idea. Ah! I have no idea how to get out of it, so we're going to have to try and, uh, yeah, find our way out. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Aqua Affinity Book. Nice one. <laughs> I would definitely go and take that. Cheers, buddy. Nice one. All right, so, yeah, like I said, finding our way out. All right, guys, so here we are back in our sea town, and this is the yield that we got from our half-hour mining channel. Check it out, guys. We've got three and a bit stacks of redstone ore, nearly three stacks of iron ore, two and a half stacks, roughly, of coal ore, about half a stack of lapis, three quarters of a stack of gold, 11 emerald ore, which is pretty cool, and, of course, 28 diamond ore, which is pretty cool. And, then of course, we've got ourselves an enchanted book for good measure as well. So, yeah, my friends, on that note, it is going to be time to end this particular episode. I want to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the episode and of course you are excited to see more do be sure to drop a like rating and of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out we will go out and see what kind of yield we get from all of these ores in the next episode but for now i want to thank you for watching i appreciate your continued support and i'll see you in the next one